Hey guys, welcome to Tyson's Fitness Tips Podcast. If you want to lose weight, increase your energy, improve your health and fitness, and look your best, then you have come to the right place. My name is Tyson Brown. I'm a personal trainer, and my job is to help you transform your body by sharing with you the most up-to-date information on health and fitness. I'm going to distill it all down for you into bite-sized, actionable steps that you can take immediately to see results quickly. Now, every Tuesday and Thursday, you can expect a brand new episode, which will be a mixture of interviews with top experts from around the world in the fitness space, and as well as solo episodes from myself, sharing with you exactly what action steps you need to take to transform your health, your body, and your life. So, let's get into the show. All right, so if you're struggling to get enough uh, calories in during the day to eat enough food while you're traveling and you're trying to you know, integrate intermittent fasting but you're trying to find healthy snacks that aren't gonna go off since you're traveling, I've got a couple of good tips for you that you can use pretty much anywhere and it's gonna be really, really beneficial. Now before I go into this, the first thing I wanna recommend to you, is kinda of like a bonus tip, is to just buy yourself a cooler. If you're really committed towards losing body fat, being satiated, just being able to get on top of your nutrition more, spending $30 on a cooler bag where you can actually keep food fresh in there all day is gonna be so much more beneficial for you. It's not expensive, it's very, very portable, and at the end of the day, it's gonna, it's gonna help you out like to eat the food, to help you get the nutrients you want as opposed to going home and binging, then it's probably a good option for you to make that little bit of an investment. And $30 is absolutely nothing at the end of the day. And I'm telling you, it's one of the best things you can do to make sure you're on point for nutrition. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about some simple snacks you can have, okay? So the first thing is that I love is it's convenient and easy and delicious, it's beef jerky. Beef jerky is, yeah, it's a little bit higher in sodium, right? But it's pure protein. Usually there's about two servings in it and it's probably about, I would say like a whole bag, it's probably about 25 to 30 grams of protein, each bag of beef jerky. And it's easy, like you know, you can pick it up from a convenience store, you can pick it up from a petrol station, pretty much beef jerky is anywhere. So whenever you want it, it's there for you. So if you're gonna be going somewhere on the way, it's so easy for you to be able to just go and pick it up and you can have it whenever you want. You can have it as a little snack, you can buy two packets, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, you can have that beef jerky there and it's great. So that's what I'll say number one, is beef jerky. Now, the good thing about beef jerky too is because it's chewy, it takes you more time to actually, you know, chew and digest, which means you're gonna get hunger signals blunted from your stomach, sending it to your brain, which is gonna say you're fuller, faster, as opposed to saying, oh, I've eaten something and I'm still really, really hungry. So beef jerky is a great option. The second thing is to boil up some eggs. Now, eggs, you can take them anywhere with you. Again, like all these convenient options, aren't gonna require a cooler, you can keep them in the car, you can keep them wherever you wanna go. And egg are convenient as, as long as you boil them up beforehand, you can just crack the shell wherever you are, chuck it in the bin, and then you can just have it there. So what I would always say is if you're gonna have eggs, have about four, because four is gonna equal roughly 28 to 30 grams of protein. It's gonna be filling, you're getting good healthy fats in there too. And eggs are pretty satiating. Like once you have four eggs, you're just like, you know what, I'm actually feeling pretty good right now. I'm feeling pretty full. So eggs are a great option for you, especially if, you need, if you're not gonna be able to stop anywhere and you just need to have something convenient, just have, just chuck a couple of eggs in the car in the morning. So what I would say is make sure you have four and you're gonna be good to go from there. Uh, the thing with eggs though, is to make sure that you don't crack them beforehand because if you crack them beforehand and you just have them boil in the, like, in just like without the shell, they're probably gonna go off. So I'd always say keep them in the shell and take them with you wherever you're gonna go. So you've got eggs, you've got beef jerky, uh, you've got trail mix, which could be like nuts and dried fruits. Now you've gotta be careful with trail mixes because they are actually higher in calories, but again, they're a convenient source. You can take them with you anywhere, they taste great. You've gotta find one, you can find the trail mixes that don't have dried fruit, which is just gonna be more fatty, which is just kind of like nuts at the end of the day. And so trail mixes or nuts are gonna be a good option for you. Now what I'm always gonna say is if you're gonna snack on trail mixes or nuts during the day, portion it out beforehand. Because if you buy a bag of nuts, it's very easy for you to go through the whole bag. And the only problem with this is that nuts are very, very high in calorie and so is dried fruit. So if you go through a whole bag, let's say like three or 400 grams of nuts and dried fruit, that is a lot of calories at the end of the day. So make sure you just portion it out beforehand. 
couple of thumb full size servings and that's going to be easy. Have a look at the back of the label and see how many servings there are. Read how many calories in the servings and if it's like there's five servings in the bag and each each bag's maybe like let's say each serving's like 130 calories, maybe you have two servings or something like that or three servings. So it all depends on the person. And then if you can just say, you know what, I know if I take the bag with me, I'm going to eat the whole bag so I'm going to cut it in half or take half out for another day. It's so much more easier for you to stay on track when you do it like that, right? So having nuts or a fruit in that mix or a trail mix or anything like that is a really, really good option for you. So we've got eggs, we've got beef jerky, we've got a trail mix. Another really good idea for you guys to be able to use is canned stuff. Again, I talked about this on how to get good cheap sources of protein. Tuna, um, any type of fish, corned beef, chicken, any of those options are really, really easy, portable snacks you can take. And if you're gonna have something like tuna, then you can also take half an avocado too, right? So cut up half an avocado, wrap it up, or a full avocado, then cut it up when you're there, but don't eat the full avocado. And you've got yourself a pretty good, healthy meal there. Like you've got some protein from your fish or your chicken or whatever, then you've got half an avocado just cut up there. It's a really, really simple snacking option for you to have while you're out. And the best thing about cans, you can just stock them up anywhere. Like they're not gonna go off, they're not gonna go bad. Um, they're just super, super convenient. The only thing I would say is if you're gonna have like tuna or sardines or anything like that, if you're gonna meet with anyone after, just make sure you bring a toothbrush or something in case, because the last thing you want is to be able to, you know, smell like fish when you're talking to someone. Now, apart from just those snacking options, why don't you just fast a little bit longer? Like there's nothing wrong with going from a 16 hour fast to an 18 or 20 hour fast and then eating more calories in that time, in that like small time frame. Because that's actually what I would rather do. I'd rather fast for a little bit longer and then be able to eat more food in a shorter time frame as opposed to having to try and try and make myself, like try and find a convenient snack when at the end of the day, if it's gonna take you more mental energy, if it's gonna be too much mucking around, if you're just like, you know what, I don't wanna do this, then instead, if you just say, I'm just gonna fast a little bit longer, that is an excellent opportunity for you to do too. So it all depends on what you wanna do. But like I said, there's like, just because you follow a 16 hour, 18, 16 hour, fast window and an eight hour feeding window does not mean you have to have it just in that time. Like it is super, super easy for you to say, you know what, I'm just gonna fast for 20 hours today or 18 hours or whatever it is. And that way you can make better choices because even though I'm giving you these options, if you have the choice of fasting or making a bad choice, you're way better off just going for a little bit longer of fasting during the day and just surviving from that. And it's, that's the way it goes. So you've got all those options there when it comes to protein sources and just snacking source and options. You've got your cans, you've got eggs, you've got beef jerky, you've got trail mixes. If you want, fruit is another great snack. You've got all those options there. Buy a cooler bag so then you're gonna have more options so you can take your food with you so you're not under stress or at the end of the day, you just fast a little bit longer. Now, before you go, what I want you to do is I've got a really cool resource for you. So what you can do is you can click the link down below and I've got a guide that shares with you over 40 tips on how to make intermittent fasting effortless, fit into your lifestyle and make it work for you. So click on the link right now and I'll send it straight to you. Until next time, speak to you then. Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. I really appreciate it. Now, I've got a special gift for you. If you want to learn how I managed to lose 10 kilos and keep it off, then I've got the perfect treat for you. I've got a free intermittent fasting cheat sheet that I share on my website that shows you exactly how to diet effortlessly with intermittent fasting and fit it into your busy lifestyle. And more importantly, this is the exact guide that I follow every single day that allowed me to lose 10 kilos of body fat and keep it off four years later. So head on over to www.tysonbrown.com.au and pick up your free cheat sheet today and learn how to fit intermittent fasting into your life and diet effortlessly. Once again, that's www.tysonbrown.com.au. Opt in for the free cheat sheet and I'm going to send it straight to your inbox for free. Until next time, speak to you guys then.